custom code websites really worth it? After nearly a decade of designing WordPress websites, I have come across hundreds of stunning custom built sites, some of them pushing the limits of web design with insane animations and interactivity. But the big question is, do you really need custom coding or can you achieve similar results with WordPress and Elementor? Today I've handpicked three fascinating websites and I'll be ranking them based not on how impressive they look, but on how challenging they would be to build using Elementor. While they all look great, the real question is, can you create similar effects without spending a fortune on custom coding? Let's find out if Elementor can save your money on your next web design. Okay, first up we have this website called the Line Studio. Do you see this loading screen and now the actual website loads? This effect is called preloader effect and it's very easy to execute on WordPress. What's great about this is how smoothly it transitions into the actual site. There's no jarring cut or delay. It sets the tone for the experience and keeps the user engaged right from the start. If you want to learn how to do this, you can watch this video here and make one preloader for your website. I'll rank this at the B tier. Now here, they have a video running in the background and this translucent container on top of it, creating this overlay effect. As you scroll down, the container stacks up like this. And you know what, if you scroll to the bottom of this page here, I do like how creatively they've used the stacking effect at the footer. So they're using the stack container on scroll effect here, and you can build this in Elementor too. I'm rating this at the A tier. The page transition effect they have used here is impressive. This is a smooth transition where the last page stays in the background and the new page moves on top of it. Now this is quite difficult to execute in Elementor as it doesn't support advanced page transitions natively because it reloads the entire page instead of using AJAX loading. To achieve this effect, you would need custom JavaScript and CSS to prevent full reloads, animate the transition and replace the content dynamically, something Elementor isn't built for out of the box. And that's pretty much it. It also looks like they might have used an unmasking effect where the container doesn't move diagonally. But overall in terms of effects, this is around an intermediate level website that you can mostly build with just using Elementor. I'll rank this at the B tier. Next up we have Zentry.com. Again, it's a nice preloader page and now here's the gaming website. I'll rank this at the B tier. Okay, so look at these buttons on the top. These on the left change shape as I hover my mouse over them and take this 3D positioning as well. Doing this as a piece of cake on WordPress, let me quickly show you how. So here is my WordPress page. I'll drag and drop a button here. Now go to the style tab and then hover. And now here I can make changes to this button. You can also go to the advanced tab and change the transform settings here to get any effect that you want on the buttons. This is so convenient and easy to do. If you know what you want, it is extremely easy to create here. Moving back to the Zentry website, the effect on the right side buttons need custom coding to make it work on WordPress. Slightly advanced. Now as I scroll down, the hero section decreases in size and goes out of view. And the image in the next container expands and reveals. This is called expand image on scroll. You can click here to learn how to build that. I'm rating this at the A tier. The hero section has the same effect but in reverse. If you want, you can make changes to the code I've provided in the other video and make it function like this. Scrolling down, you can see these cards are laid out in a particular order. This is called a bento grid layout, which is super easy to execute. Check out this video to see how you can make them. I'll rank this at the B tier. Okay, now here you can see this timeline. This is a responsive timeline on scroll. This is some intermediate stuff where the page is fixed and so are the other elements, but the timeline moves as I keep scrolling down. We have made a tutorial video on this as well. I am rating this at the A tier. Okay, so finally this scroll. This is called highlight text on scroll. As I scroll up or down, the highlight changes and the element on the left and right also change accordingly. I am rating this at the A tier. So far this page is looking quite a difficult effect to execute, but with our tutorials, you will be able to cover a few of these effects. Again, some of these effects are easy, basic stuff, and some are intermediate and require a lot of patience and knowledge to build. I am rating this at the A tier because it's filled with animations and effects that you can't make without using some custom code on Elementor. Finally, it's time for the advanced website. 
The Hero section has a 3D product image and when you click on it, the drink starts pouring and the rest of the page is unlocked. See, this is advanced, but this isn't a video. There is a lot, a lot of math and physics put into making this liquid move so naturally. Look at this. I scroll up and down and the flow of the liquid changes accordingly. Very impressive work. I'll rank it at the S tier. And if you too want to add interactive 3D models to your websites, then check out this video here. It has all the codes to add the GLTA format, but again, adding models like from this website requires a lot more custom coding for the effects to work. Now, when I move the cursor around, the color of that section momentarily changes. So what's happening here is that they have two images masked over one another. And when I hover the cursor, the top layer disappears and the bottom layer gets unmasked. This effect is called unmask on hover. I'll rank it at the S tier. We don't have a tutorial for that yet, but let us know in the comment section if you would like a tutorial on how to do this. This trail that follows the mouse is simply a custom cursor. I'll rank it at the S tier. I think this is the easiest effect this website has used on the page. You can also watch the tutorial for this one on our page. Now there are a bunch of different effects like these fruit icons appearing as I hover over the text. And there is this game again nearly impossible to do on WordPress. But what you can do is this. This is a 3D product image slider. There are a bunch of layers for each product and this requires a lot of work even on Elementor. I posted a video for this tutorial, check that out as well. If you wish to use heavy design and still have fast page speed or make your website faster in any case, try Airlift. It's a free plugin and undeniably the best optimization plugin that can bring out the best performance of your website. Lastly, on this website, they have used this vertical 3D scroll. I have made a horizontal 3D scroll tutorial for WordPress, but mostly the flow of this effect is quite similar. I'll rank it at the S tier. That said, after analyzing the site completely and checking all the custom assets, it's quite a marvel. I'll rank it at the S tier, where nearly all the god level website designs go. Making something like this in Elementor is quite a task and will definitely be a challenge. But if you do want to give it a shot, then check out our videos linked in the description below and also look for open source code libraries like GSAP, 3GS and more to help you out with your designs. And that's it. You don't always need custom coding to build stunning websites, but it definitely helps. With Elementor and the right techniques, you can get really close to a custom built experience. But if you're not that big on coding, then it's one of the best page builders to work on. Comment below if you want me to look at more challenging website designs and help you with dedicated tutorials on recreating them. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.